Santa Fe Sings is an event planned by the Community Engagement Committee of the Santa Fe Desert Corral. It is a cornerstone of our community engagement activity, actually, and it is an event that brings together people from all aspects of our community. We welcome you. Are you in school here? In yeah, Santa I'm at Santa Fe High. At Santa Fe High? Yeah. It is an event, but it's also an experience. It's an educational experience. It's an experience that allows singers to sing under the direction of an amazing, masterful conductor, Josh Haberman, our musical director for the chorale. It's an experience that allows people to connect with one another, to bond, to um, develop relationship, and to be able to really hear their voices in a new way, to learn what's possible in their own voices as they learn new techniques, vocal techniques. So it's a far-ranging experience that people today are going to be having, and I think it's going to be very uplifting, educational, very moving experience. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. When I got involved in the Desert Corral, I looked at a lot of programs that you were offering or thinking about offering. And I was sort of like a Goldilocks. This one wasn't quite for me, this reason, that reason. And then I said, well, Santa Fe sings. How wonderful. You're going to have people from 8 to 80 and from all backgrounds and all different choruses and they're going to come together and they're going to make music. How uniting, how community uniting that would be. And I was hoping it would be a wonderful experience for the participants and surely for the city of Santa Fe and Albuquerque. There were people who came literally as far away as Little Rock, Arkansas. So it was just one of those things that I was hoping would be a, an event. And then it turns out, yes, it really does work. In Omnia. People have come from all over Santa Fe for one basic reason. There's a human need to belong to something bigger than yourself. There's a lot of ways to accomplish that. There's a lot of ways to get that feeling. But for me, it's always been choral singing. And I think the people that are here today feel the same way. We can do together what's impossible to do by yourself. It's ultimately the most harmonic, if you will, art form in the sense that we can't create choral music, we can't create chords, we can't create harmonies by ourselves. But when we come together in community in this way, we can and we do. So I think this is what keeps people coming back. This is the joy of their lives. And when you see the people's faces lighting up and you see us singing a chord just right or turning a melody in just the precise way that we had hoped to do it, it's something that you can't replicate in any other way. Working with singers of all backgrounds is the joy of my life. It's the joy of my professional life, but it goes far beyond that. It's a calling. Uh, it's a sense for me that it, it's the people through the music. A connection, especially a community-based connection, which choral music really is, it's the ultimate team sport. Um, for me, is incredibly gratifying, it's rewarding, and I think it puts us in touch with the better parts of our natures. And I think that that's important right now in our society, to be connected to things that are uplifting, that are joyful, and that also bring people of varying backgrounds together. Mayor Gonzalez has been a wonderful supporter and fan of the Desert Corral. He's come to many concerts. Um, he has also helped us with the city support uh, a number of times. So we, we owe a great deal to him and to his administration. He decided he wanted to come this morning to Santa Fe Sings to be part of it personally. And so he signed up, uh, as everyone did, registered as a tenor. I'm a tenor as well. And so we're fellow travelers in that part of the choir.
One of the things that's very important to me and has been important since I got here two years ago to the Desert Corral is that we are drilling down in the community and providing meaningful community engagement opportunities. At the same time, we're stretching out and we're serving as ambassadors for Santa Fe in traveling and performing in, in the next year alone, Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Chicago, and Los Angeles. So it's a, it's a dynamic relationship where we're based here, we're deeply rooted here, and yet we're spreading the good news about Santa Fe throughout the country. Well, what I love most and why the Desert Corral is so important to Santa Fe is because it's a community-based organization. There's so much effort put into inviting people to participate uh, when they're not in performance, and that really shows that the Desert Corral uh, not only uh, performs, but also contributes back to the community in very meaningful ways. You do it. <sighs> Josh is amazing. We love having him in for this. And I remember last year when we did the first of these community sings, I was able to see a whole different side of Josh. When we see him working with the elite professional singers that we have as part of our ensemble, we see a very serious music expert leading the group. When we have an opportunity like this to bring community members together, we see a more jovial, fun-loving, flexible, um, but in the end, he gets incredible results. The growth that you hear in the music making from the beginning of the session to the end, I was stunned last year and I was equally amazed this year what he can bring forward from people. Number one, when singing in choir, even if you're not looking up, you can fool the conductor. Do you know how to do it? Yes. Hold the music in such a way that indicates that although you're not looking up in that moment, at any moment it's possible that you might look up. <laughs> It's a very good technique. Because conductors are like sprinklers, you know. <laughs> they only come by every once in a while. If we accomplish that, then there's a chance that some of these more technical issues that we have to deal with, like putting consonants together, getting entrances exactly right, have a better shot of success. Do you agree? Yes. Fair enough. What's amazing about working with Josh is that he has such an energy and a, a way of, of bringing everybody in the room into the same space, uh, kind of blocking out any distractions or anything that, that normally we worry about or the things that kind of cloud into our minds. And he just kind of makes it very suddenly simple and joyful, which is what uh, an event like this should be like. We're not really aiming for perfection. Like he said, there were times where he says, I'm going to treat you like the corral and work you quite hard. But really the point of this is to understand why we even come together uh, as humans to make music. Josh brings such light to the music and, and such brilliance and beauty and meaning and depth. Um, and being a part of that and being able to share that spirit of singing with a community of Santa Feans who are also in love with the voice and in love with what they can do with that natural instrument is incredibly powerful and uh, meaningful to me. Josh is, he's amazing. He's, he actually taught us this technique to keep the back of your throat open and that, I've been using that throughout the morning and it's been very helpful for me. I think it's really awesome to listen to like the different techniques that directors give you. Josh Haberman is a magnificent director and I love that he's able to kind of come down to this level for the two and a half hours. You know, a lot of fun and just like some really simple fundamentals that he tries to impart and not too much pressure, you know, just really trying to make it a lovely morning. Elio Hanuvi is a very old melody, and it is sung at the end of the Passover Seder. It's a very moving melody. Uh, it's loaded with uh, symbolism and 
memory because everybody who's been to a Seder remembers each Seder and who was there and where it was held. Music is also a way that I enter into somebody else's world. I'm not Jewish, I'm not African American, I'm not a 12th century mystic, I'm probably not even a 21st century mystic. But to be able to sing the music of all those different voices helps me to be a part of that world and, and to appreciate it and to realize just the, the creativity of this great mystery um, of music and of life in general.